All right, if you got a weak stomach, you might not want to watch today's big story. Valley doctors are using live maggots to clean up seriously infected wounds. ABC 15 Steve Koo shows us how it works. The doctors and nurses inside Casa Grande Regional Medical Center might be accused of running some kind of strange medical experiment. We're trying to get back into this realm of offering the patients everything that we have at, in our arsenal of wound care, and maggot therapy just happens to be one of them. Yeah, medical maggots, to be more specific, on rush delivery to Ann Fishbein's leg wound. Even though the Halloween decorations are up, this is no trick. They're going to be rather ferocious when we put them on. If you're squeamish, you probably want to look away from your TV right now. And don't say I didn't warn you. Basically, I'm just scooping up as many as I can here so that we get the right amount. It might seem like a very crude procedure, but maggots have actually been used in the medical field for thousands of years for one reason. They're actually really good at what they do. Mega's main purpose is to eat dead tissue. For the next 48 hours, the eating done by these disinfected larvae will clean Anne's wound. What does that feel like? Actually, it's pleasant. The area is so itchy, and they're moving around. Doctors say larvae therapy is a fast and safe alternative to surgical and chemical treatments. It would be more widely used, too, if not for the sickening feeling people like Anne's family get when it's brought up. All I heard was, I don't want to hear about it. You're telling me the staff gets grossed out by these two? <laughs> With a little more education, these nurses and doctors hope maggots will soon crawl their way into more operating tables in the future. In Casa Grande, I'm Steve Kuj, ABC 15 News. Well, doctors tell us most insurance companies will cover larva therapy, where surgery and other procedures can cost a lot of money. Medical maggot treatment is much cheaper, only about 100 bucks.